Welcome everyone to another G.I. Joe Sigma 6 action figure review. This is Like It's 1985. Today I'll be reviewing Lieutenant Stone, Master of Disguise. Uh, here's a quick look at Lieutenant Stone up close. Very nice black and red costume. Now as far as articulation goes, his head does go 360. Uh, he can look up, he can look down. Uh, shoulders can rotate 360. Uh, arms can go out like that. You've got yourself a bend at the elbow as well as a swivel and a 360 swivel rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge joint like that. Uh, fingers are not articulated but they can be uh, slightly bent. They're made out of soft plastic. Uh, you've got articulation at the ab, rotation at the waist, you've got uh, articulation at the hips, back, forward, out like that. You've got bend and a swivel at the knee and a hinge joint at the ankle. Uh, so very nice details. If you notice the, his uh, left arm is different from his right arm as you can see in the uh, description on the back of the box it says his left arm had been damaged in a battle with Cobra and it got replaced by a bionic arm so that's why you see a difference in the arms but you've got some nice uh, details with the, the green translucent plastic and kind of a bronze silverish colored metal so really kind of cool details it makes him stand out uh, as far as being you know too plain it gives the, the arm the bionic arm is really nice on him now it's, it's, it's the accessories with the Lieutenant Stone that really set apart this uh, figure. First off we've got this pair of handcuffs. Uh, they rotate around like this and you can see they open up like that. Then you've got uh, this net gun is what they call it. It's like this. And this does have many features. One of the main features of course is you fire this off. And it's supposed to, I suppose what it's supposed to do is you know wrap around the enemy target like this and you know capture like that but really all it does is just kind of shoot out like that uh, these slide a little bit then you have this that comes out on the weapon I guess for an extra uh, way to grip the gun so that's an option there now this piece comes out here and what you can do is on the back of the box you have this little barcode which is red barcoding and you're supposed to be able to run this decoder over that barcode and decode the message now of course you can see what it is without using the barcode but it's a nice little gimmick I suppose that they include with the accessory basically what this says is Firefly is a Cobra spy so there you go alright so let's take a look inside Lieutenant Stone's weapons locker and when you do open up the weapons locker you will find everything you need to turn Lieutenant Stone into either a Cobra Trooper or Zartan. So let's take a look at the individual pieces first and then I'll show you uh, what Lieutenant Stone looks like when he's disguised as the Cobra Trooper and as Zartan. So you get this helmet uh, for the Cobra Trooper disguise. Uh, you get these two pieces of armor here with the Cobra logos on them. Uh, you get this uh, knife, which does actually fit nicely into his uh, uh, sheath right here on the side of his leg. You do get these two uh, pistols, and they do fit into the holsters on the sides of Lieutenant uh, Stone's legs, as you can see right there. Go ahead and holster the remaining pistol and finally you get the uh, body armor as you can see it's a soft rubber or soft plastic with a nice red uh, Cobra logo on there and then you get the shoulder armor pieces here and finally you get the uh, Zartan head for the Zartan disguise and you can see it's kind of a uh, the actual hood area is a kind of a translucent purple dark purple color and there's the uh, face 
So let's go ahead and take a look at Lieutenant Stone disguised as a standard Cobra Trooper. So here is Lieutenant Stone almost completely disguised as a Cobra Trooper. The one last thing I need to do is remove his beret, which comes off, and put on his Cobra Trooper helmet, which when you put it on, pretty well hides the fact that he has an eye patch on underneath. So that's good. So here he is. He's got the uh, chest armor on with the nice Cobra logo, uh, the helmet, and the two pieces that go on the arm. The one thing about the chest armor, though, it doesn't really seem to attach anywhere. It just kind of hangs over his neck. They do have a little uh, uh, post here that's part of this armor. It almost seems like it would go in somewhere or attach to someplace, but it doesn't really. And as you can see, it doesn't fully encircle his waist. It just uh, it just ends up about on his sides. So I'm not sure how that's really supposed to be attached. It doesn't really say in the instructions, and the reviews I watched don't really show you how to attach anything. You could, I suppose, I tried this. I tried to attach these to the Sigma ports on his back, but I think they're too big. Uh, so really, just kind of, as far as I can tell, the, the, whole, the whole chest piece kind of just hangs there. Would have been nice if they would have found a way to attach it somehow. Uh, but, you know, like I say, it doesn't really bother me too much because it looks pretty well just like that without being attached to anything. So, really nice uh, Cobra Trooper. And next up, we'll take a look at uh, Lieutenant Stone disguised as Zartan. Warning! Unless you're trying to get Lieutenant Stone killed when he's trying to infiltrate the Cobra headquarters, please, please do not follow the instructions that are provided with the Lieutenant Stone figure, as seen here. It says to place on the arm gauntlets, the shoulder, uh, shoulder guards, and the mask of Zartan to disguise Lieutenant Stone as Zartan. Well, the problem with that is if you, if you did that, you would still have the Sigma-6 logo on his chest and, you know, we pretty much would be shot on sight. Um, so I think what you really need to do is keep the Cobra armor, chest armor, on him and uh, that covers up the Sigma-6 logo that he would have if he left that off. So really, um, I think that's a mistake or, or a misinformation on, on the part of the instructions. So definitely leave this chest armor on, unless you want to see, you know, Lieutenant Stone get killed, in which case, you know, leave it off. But uh, here he is, Zartan, um, in disguise, uh, well actually not Zartan, but Lieutenant Stone disguised as Zartan. Again, all he has is the, uh, the shoulder and the arm armor and the chest armor and the different head, as you can see right here. There he is. So really nice playability factor again, uh, having these two disguises. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. So my final thoughts on Lieutenant Stone Master Disguise action figure is I do recommend you pick this guy up. Uh, really nice overall figure. Uh, he's got really nice accessories, really nice weaponry that's included, and the playability factor is there as well with the ability to disguise himself as a Cobra Trooper or as Zartan. A uh, couple of maybe downsides to the figure. If you take a look at his neck profile, it looks rather long. Um, I don't really like that, and I thought at first it might be because they needed to get the Zartan mask on him, but if you look at the, him with the Zartan mask on, he still has a gap they're showing, so I don't think they really need to make his neck that long. Just one small design uh, issue that I have. The other thing is the holster that he uh, wears during his you know, regular Lieutenant Stone uh, outfit, he, it's supposed to be removable so that you can put on the Cobra armor, but I found that really couldn't find a way to uh, unbuckle it or to, to get it over his arms. So it would have been nice if they had a way easier way to get this thing off. Uh, but other than that, uh, highly recommended figure. Definitely uh, is cool to have in your Sigma-6 uh, G.I. Joe collection. And I hope you learn by watching the interview that you know what to expect uh, when you get this figure if you decide to purchase it. And as they say, knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe! Thanks for watching this review.